All right, lesson 21, complex sprite movement. So we hit run and you see this box and it's getting faster and faster. So what's happening here is the sprite is created, just the box. And then we have our function, right? That's redrawn over and over and over again. So we're saying the velocity, the speed of the sprite, that box, is equal to velocity plus 0 0.1, right? So it starts off going 0 0.1, and then this gets redrawn again, and now it's velocity, which is 0 0.1, plus another 0 0.1. So now it's going at 0 0.2 and keeps going, uh, adding, adding, adding every time it gets redrawn, and that's why it's going faster. And that's it. All right, velocity and counter pattern. Use the counter pattern with the sprite's velocity x property to make the car speed up. Okay, so here's the velocity. It's going at 0 0.2. So we're going to add some math. Oh, not there. velocity x so we have car velocity equals plus right because it's going this way so now car velocity x plus let's just go one so it goes quick and then we'll reset and run and there it is. So it starts off at point 0.2, and then this gets redrawn over and over and over again. So it's at point 0.2 plus 1, and then it gets redrawn. So now it's 1.12 plus 1, and then it gets redrawn, and now it's 2.12, and so on and so forth. And that's it on that one. All right. The rock should speed up as it falls down the screen. So here's the rock slowly 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 all right so this is just the same thing as the previous one except instead of the x going across with the car it's the rock going down with the y so here we go let's do it velocity rock okay rock velocity equals and then we'll throw in that math Okay, and again, this is counting up, right? Because this is zero, this is 400. So it's going... Whoosh. So counting up is plus. So now let's drop in our velocity rock. Okay, rock velocity y plus, let's just do point, or 0 0.5. That way it goes a little bit slower, but still quick. Reset, run. And there you go. The car is going to run into the water. You need to use a counter pattern to slow it down. Use sprite velocity x block to counter with a counter pattern to slow the car down by 0 0.25 as it moves across the screen. All right. So this is basically the exact same thing as the car that we did before, except instead of at the end, instead of using the plus to keep it going faster, we're going to have it slowing down until it eventually stops and then goes backwards. So, sprite velocity x, math, and we're going minus, right, because this is 400, this is zero, so it's going backwards. minus and we have our car and then we have our car again sprite velocity x and now they wanted it to be 0 0.25 so I'm just going to copy that paste it in there 
Hopefully this works. And it does. Okay, so the reason it went backwards is it starts off at 10, right? So it starts going off at 10, but it's getting redrawn every single time to go slower by 0.25 each time this redraws. Eventually this 10 becomes a zero, right? And then it's just gonna be minus 0 0.25 that it's gonna start going backwards and then it's getting redrawn again and it goes 0 0.25 and then another minus 0 0.25 and so on and so forth. So it, it's going this way till it gets to zero. Once it hits zero, it goes back. So really the math is all here and here. Rising bubble. Okay, this program makes a bubble rise up in the water. Can you make it go faster as it rises. Use the counter pattern in the sprites with high velocity to make it go quickly. So this is just like the rock, except we're going up instead of down. So sprite velocity Y, bubble, and then our math, and we're going minus this time, right? Because this is 400, this is zero, so minus minus velocity y and then we'll just pick a number let's go 0 0.5 so it matches this so I'm gonna reset run and there we go so what's happening here it starts off at 0 0.5 going up and then this gets redrawn so now it's 0 0.5 and then minus another negative 0 0.5 to make it negative 1 and then it goes another negative 0.5 to make it negative 1.5 negative 2 negative 2.5 and so on so it just gets faster and faster going up and that's it Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Slow down in reverse. So we have the mouse running past the cat. We want the counter pattern to change the velocity so it approaches zero, then changes directions. Since the mouse starts at negative velocity, you want to increase to slow down. All right, so here we are. We see this mouse is going negative 20, so it's coming this way. So let's get our... Where is our... Velocity X. Mouse. And again, it's going negative 20, so we're going to be going positive. So we get math, positive, velocity x, and then we'll, let's get, we'll give it a number, let's try 5, and see what happens. Alright, probably need to go a little slower because it just goes through. Let's try 1, it'll be easier just so you can see that it is actually working. Reset, run, there we go. Right, so it goes up, hits 20, and then redraws 20 times, gets to zero, and then back. And that's it. Okay, looks like the rock is thrown in the air when it never falls back down. So they want it to slow down and come back. So it's the exact same thing as the the mouse, except we're using the Y instead of the X. So we see the velocity is negative 10. So it's going up. So let's go ahead and get our Y. Call it rock. 
And then we see right here it's negative 10, so we want it to go positive, which is plus. And then rock velocity y. And then let's go ahead and go 0 0.5 and see how it works. Reset, run. That's not bad, but probably at least go a little higher. Let's go 0 0.25. That's better. So again, it starts off going up at the speed of 10, and then it decreases by 0.25 every single time this redraws until it hits zero and just starts going down. And that's it. Curve. Okay, plane is going to avoid the first spike, but it flies off screen. In the draw loop, update the Y velocity so that it pulls down to avoid the second spike. Okay, so it goes up, and you want it to be coming down. All right, so we see the Y velocity is negative nine, so it's going up negative nine and over three. So we want the plane to go up and then start going down, but we want it to still be moving this positive three over to the right, right? So it misses that spike. So all we're gonna mess with is the Y. Velocity Y. Rock. No, plane. Okay, plane velocity Y. And then right now we see the, the plane is going negative 9, so we want it to be going positive so that it starts dropping. So let's get our math positive. And then we're messing with the y velocity up and down. And it's a plane. And what's at 9, let's go ahead and try 1 and see what happens. Set run. Not good. Not good at all. That was a crash. All right, let's try 0 0.5. Better, but still terrible. All right, let's try 0 0.25. Oh, there we go. That's good. That'll work. 0 0.25. All right, awesome. Deceleration. Okay, make the car slow to a halt before it goes past the top of the screen. In the draw loop, update the car's Y velocity so it slows down. Use a conditional to print, prevent this car from moving backwards after it stops. Okay, so first we're going to make the downwards. Velocity Y equals all right it's going 15 so we want it to go plus to slow it down plus car car and then let's try I don't know three and just see what happens at this point. Okay, three is not going to work. Whoa, what happened? That was weird, but okay. Okay, 0 0.5, let's try that. Reset, run. That's pretty good. Okay. Okay, so now we have the car going. It stops up here and then it comes back. So how do we make it stop when it hits this one? All right. So the car velocity is negative 15, right? So it's going... And then it's getting redrawn at 0.5 over and over and over again. 
So really, once we get it to, to hit zero, we want it to stop. So we need to use that if statement. If the car velocity gets to less than zero, right? Because it's at negative right now. So that would be, or greater than zero, sorry, greater than. If it gets to greater than zero, so it hits the the stop at zero. If it gets, the car velocity gets greater than zero. Car velocity is greater than zero. Then we want the car velocity to be zero, to stop, to stop. So car velocity equals zero. Right, so once it gets to zero, it just stops. Let's check it out. Hopefully. And that didn't work. Oh, you know why? Because it's car velocity x and it's supposed to be y. That was a foolish mistake. Okay, now let's try it again. Come on. Yeah, I did it. Done. Okay, so the free play project, you are too. Create the spaceship, and when you hit the arrow, it gets faster and faster. Super simple, if you have been paying attention and you know how to do it. So let's get it done.